forecasts focused on you. This is your 19 First Alert planning calendar. Thank you, Erica. Great information there about those high water levels from this melting snow and now the rain we're dealing with. Time now for your 19 first alert weather calendar. We look out two weeks past the seven day to give you that first alert of what you can expect weather wise across the area. Any day with a blinking red box is going to be a day where we expect the weather to have a significant impact on your day. Notice no red box tomorrow. If you're coming downtown for the Monsters game, weather looks good for that little fog developing though tomorrow night. Fairport Harbor Winterfest on Saturday. Right now the weather looks great for this and thank you to Matt Keogh by the way for this great photo of the Fairport Harbor West Breakwater Lighthouse. I love this picture. If you're going to what Winterfest on Saturday upper 30s cloudy and chilly but dry for now. I don't have any rain or snow in but it will start raining Saturday night and then Sunday for the Cracker Park Ice Festival will change over to a wintry mix. We're going to be in the 30s on Sunday, so a little chillier than it looked earlier in the week. Next week, we start the week with lake effect snow on Monday. Not too shabby Tuesday into Wednesday, just going to feel like January with a few flurries here and there. Friday, Groundhog Day. I cannot believe it is already almost Groundhog Day. And then next weekend, of course, the great big home and garden show kicking off at the IX Center. If you're headed out on Saturday, it looks like we could actually see a few rain showers. We'll be watching that potential closely. And then week three, Monday the 5th, Kings at Cavs. That should be a fantastic game and a great time there. Snow showers return on the 6th and then on the 7th, actually Cleveland State women's basketball taking on Wright State. The weather looks pretty quiet, but we wrap up the calendar on the 8th with a chance for snow showers out there.